Hey guys, it's James bringing you another career mode roundup with Wigan Athletic on FIFA 15. So we have got a pretty big episode today. We're playing a lot of big teams and as you can see the first team we are playing is Liverpool. And we're playing in the DW Arena. This is our home stadium. I keep saying that. It's just cool to have our own renovated stadium with all the money that we're making. You can see the big team coming out now. Rykovic and Bateo. We've also got Hartok on the left. So we're putting out a pretty strong team today in many ways. You know, strong physically. And there's a Captain Gonzalez. Him and Rykovic are just pretty much the solid pairing at the back. And you can see the utility players, Fukubu and Bateo. We've got a pretty fast front three as well, Defonso, Barahino and McManaman. And you can see Liverpool got a pretty strong team as well. Sturridge is playing. And um, we almost score in the first, what, three minutes, four minutes with, who was that, Barahino. But the Liverpool player will get past two of my defenders. You can see that, that first guy, he just went past like so easily. It's just something wrong with the defenders in this game, you know, marking. But Sturridge will score a pretty good goal. And um, just think about what it was like, you know, if he comes back in real life, you know, how Liverpool will do, you know, it's just quite interesting to think about that. Fukubu will get another layoff and he'll take a free kick shot and uh, we actually lose that game 1-0. So sorry if that highlight was a bit short, I just don't want to bore you with any, you know, unnecessary highlights because we did lose that game. And as I was skipping through the, you know, the simulation, I noticed my next game and it's against Manchester United and I was like, oh shit. But I just wanted to ask you guys a quick question, you know. I've shown you the the scouting program, and I'm having a little trouble with the scouting, you know, whole thing in this game. Um, a lot of the players, I haven't promoted a single youth player yet, and I've done, you know, two seasons, uh, probably like 11 or 10 scouting missions with three scouts, so three scouts times 10 missions, and I haven't found a single good player, and my youth squad is empty, so I was wondering if you guys have had that same problem as well, because uh, I remember in FIFA 14 and 13, I promoted so many youth players and that was pretty much like I built the core of my team on some pretty good youth players and um, I haven't really done that this well so far in these first two seasons so maybe you can tell me a bit about that but um, here's the table and I'm pretty happy because we're coming 12th and uh, I wouldn't ex I wouldn't have expected that because um, you know as soon as you get promoted you're expected to just survive and that means you know coming like 17th, 16th, 15th anywhere along there wait 20th 19th, 18th, yeah, so 17th, 16th, whatever. But um, we're playing away. We're playing at Old Trafford. This is a massive stadium, the biggest stadium in England, apart from Wembley. And uh, there's Di Maria. Why was Rykovic always in the cut scenes? I don't know why, but Chris Smalling and Rojo at the back. And Anderson's going to play. Fletcher's going to play as well. So maybe that's a little weakness there for them. The same front three, Delfonso, Berahino, and McManaman. So maybe we'll look to attack on the counter-attack. But Rykovic and Gonzalez in the heart of the defense again. So we are playing a pretty strong team. And they almost score right off from the bat. And now we've got a bit of space. Berahino to McManaman. And what's McManaman going to do? You've seen this play a couple of times. Cut inside and he'll take a shot. So unfortunately that wasn't the case. We didn't get a goal there. Or, a, or we didn't score. But um, we've got a free kick again. And Bakuna... Long driven pile driver shot and uh, nothing from that. So now Delfonso, he's found a bit of space. He's going to run up forward and now he's going to take a cross. And then on the end of it is Berahino. So Berahino just misses. He should have scored from that. But now we stuff it up at the back. Alonso, he mixes it up. Rooney to Di Maria. Di Maria takes a shot and gets past Hartok. So they score 1 0, 45th minute. And that was a bit of a shame, wasn't it? It was a pretty good shot. Nothing we could do about that. Now they have a corner and then we defended it well. And that was it, pretty much. We lost that game 1-0. Bit of a shame there, but now we're playing Everton. And this is another big game. So we've lost the first two games, and now we've got this game. We're playing away. So it is quite hard to get these results, isn't it? But James McCarthy, the ex-Wigan player, I think he left on good terms, didn't he? You know, he was just a young player who needed a new challenge in his career. And Alcaraz, the same type of player. He was used to play for Wigan, obviously. And um, I wanted to put out a big team again because we needed, you know, any point. We needed a point or three points. That would be great. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you an extended play of my team starting from the start of the game. So this is what we do. We you know, we start from the back. We like to play with a bit of space. Try to find any player that we can. So Duncan's on the ball now. He's going to through ball it because he's found a bit of space. You know, he's found Bateo, the right back. And I'll tell you what, I've said this before. The utility players, the left and right backs, have got to get forward in this team. Or else they won't play because that's how I just like to do it. You know, just left bumper passing. And we're pretty much, we're not playing like the Barca style of play, we're playing like the Bayern style of play, you know, with a bit of swag and confidence, working our way around the uh, opposition box there, and we're going to make a break for it, and uh, we're going to try to go for that. So we stuffed up that play, but I just thought that was like like the typical Wigan play that I usually do with, and Alonso will just 
kick it over the net, and um, that was pretty close, wasn't it? You know, he's not the best player I've signed, but just, you know, the game face, he's a pretty good player, and just loves to get forward, isn't he? Have you seen him in real life when he played for Bolton and Sunderland? Just get forward and uh, make you knock. They had a bit of weight behind it, that shot, didn't it? Just went straight to the keeper. Daniel Johnson will take another shot, so we're just, like, peppering the goal with shots and crosses. You can see here, another cross, make you knock. And I thought that was it when I when I was playing, but because um, he scored that goal many times last season. Now Loa Loa, and um, we got the lucky break. We got the bit of space, as I said, and we just ran towards the goal and pretty good shots in there. And uh, so that was one 0 in 75th minute. And I tell you what, we're going to win this game. We're going to win this game one 0 So I'm very happy. You're going to show you the replay again. The space, the defenders are coming close to him, and then nothing Tim Howard could do there. And then make you knock again. Loa Loa. So Loa Loa is a bit of a beast, isn't he? Make you knock. He's going to take another shot. Curling into the lower right post. And uh, yeah, as I said, we won the game 1 0. Now we've got a game against West Brom. But I want to show you the table first. So after those couple of games, we're coming in 12th. I think we we're 12th at the start of the episode. But um, Manchester City are just in front of us. But I think Chelsea and Arsenal are coming first and second. But. Now we've got a game against West Brom, so it's good to be playing back at home. And there's Ben Watson, but I think Ben Watson is a legend now of the club. You know, we played in the Premier League for so long, and you know we've been relegated, and now we're back in the Premier League. So he stayed with the club through thick and thin, and I think he is a legend now. And um, you can see Gary Caldwell. You know, it is a shame. You know, he's a ex Wigan player, and it is a shame that I sold some of these players. But I don't think I have a choice. You know, just the way it was going to work. You know, with Gonzalez and Rykovic. I just had to try them out for the whole season, didn't I? But you saw that chance. That was crazy. We should have scored then with the amount of chances we had. But Alassani will pass it off to Powell. He'll take a shot. And that's a pretty good shot, isn't it? Just off to the right. Good height, I think. But not a lot of chances apart from that. It was a pretty scrappy game. So, you know, you can see here we're at 86 minutes. And, yeah, that is the end. You know, we drew nil all with West Brom. And, you know, I'm sorry if this episode has disappointed you at the moment. It's just this was a pretty hard episode to, you know, get through. Just to realize that, you know, we're playing three big teams. And then we're playing the two mid-table teams. So, you know, we got good a good point against West Brom. And then we got a victory against Everton. But um, I didn't really expect much from any of the big teams. So that's just the way I saw it. You know, if we got a point against, you know, Arsenal or Manchester United or, you know, we lost against Liverpool or something like that, you know, then I wouldn't mind because, um, you know, we just want to survive kind of thing. Just try to build the team into the Premier League. But you can see here, we're packing the midfield. So three players, you know, the big guy, Jermaine Jones and Bakuna, I think we're there. And um, the reason why I'm packing the midfield, because it's Arsenal, you know, the players like Flamini, Wilshere, Ramsey, Sanchez... And it's pretty hard, you know, pretty hard to play against those guys. They just pass around. But if they had Kazula in that starting eleven as well, I would have just said, nah, stuff it. We're going to lose this game straight straight off from the bat. But um, actually, Arsenal have a really good chance straight off from the kickoff. And then uh, Giroud. Well, this is actually his 16th minute. He scores, but then it was disallowed. So that was so crack up, you know. He was just complaining to the linesman. But now in the 21st minute, Jermaine Jones is running around from the corner. He's going to pass to Powell. Powell will pass to Delfonso. Come back to Bateau, who likes to get forward. You know, as I said, he's got to get forward. And um, I thought that was a penalty. So a couple of questionable calls there from the ref. You're going to see the second one, actually. Uh, Bateau's going to run off. And, you know, he's making a good run. So that's that's just how I find lots of chances, you know. Just left bumper pass. So that was the tackle I was talking about. Yeah, as I said, a couple of questionable calls there. But uh, he wasn't affected by the home crowd, the referee. You know, just playing it as it is. You know, officiating as he is. And uh, that pass was way off there by Jermaine Jones. He's more of a tackler. And, um... Have you seen Jermaine Jones play in real life? Maybe you can tell me. Is he a tackler? Is he a creative player? Tell me what you think. And then they will score for real this time. Not disallowed. Giroud. It's the Giroud show. Yeah, so he will score that goal. And now Arsenal will have another play. So defender, Espinosa, makes a pretty bad challenge. And then Al Habsi gets a hand to it. And then look at that. Eden Dzeko. So he's joined, obviously. He always joins Arsenal, I'm pretty sure. And just imagine what that team would be like in real life if they had Giroud on form. And then they had Dzeko uh, I think that would be a pretty strong team. And two really big strikers. But now, right at the end, Barahino to McManaman. And he'll get a really good scrappy goal, relegation type of goal. Even though we're not in the relegation place. It's just a cool scrappy goal. I like those goals more than anything else. And um, we actually lost that game 2-1. So, you know, this is always going to be a hard episode. If I haven't pleased you, then sorry about that. But it's just nothing I could do. You know, playing these big teams, we really wanted to get some points. But playing on world class is, you know, quite hard for me. So... Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get a lot of good results. You know, we got the win against Everton, 
and a draw against West Brom. But um, we're just grinding out through the season. We're actually in uh, January now. So we've got the January transfer window and we're going to be buying some really cool players. We've got a surprise, two surprises for you. Well, actually three surprises for you. You know what that means, three signings. Um, and you'll find out in the next episode, the next Wigan Roundup. But yeah, uh, that brings us to the end of this Roundup. If you've enjoyed it, please leave a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.